gas bill, water bill. I get it. Pass due. Please pay immediately or we will send a guy named Bruno over to punch out your lights. That's nice how they don't put pressure on you. I don't understand why I never have any money. I hope you didn't want any because I only got a dozen. <gasps> I understand why I never have any money. What is it, Odie? Oh, that's the lottery ticket I bought. Gee, wouldn't it be nice to win the 27 gazillion dollars? Think how wonderful life would be with that kind of money. What are you telling me, Odie? Oh, it's time for them to draw the winning lottery number. Oh, it's a big waste of time, but I might as well watch. In a moment, we'll be drawing the winning number in this week's Super Mega Jackpot Lucky 7 Ultra Snazzy Lottery, which is worth 27 gazillion dollars. I shouldn't get my hopes up. Hmm. Let me see that ticket. The odds against me winning are astronomical. Still, it would be so wonderful. And now, here's the winning number. Give me my ticket back, Garfield. And the winning number is seven, nine, four, five, Ooh. zero, oh. six. Ah. And the last number is oh. Oh. three. Gee, I got all 10 numbers. Looks like I won the 27 gazillion dollars. You know, a lot of people, if this happened to them, would go absolutely nuts and start leaping around and dancing. And you know what else? Huh? I'm like a lot of people. Okay, I'm rich! Okay, I'm rich! Well, shall we join him? That's right, the winning ticket in the Super Mega Jackpot Lucky 7 Ultra Snazzy Lottery! Oh, that's great, Mr. Arbuckle. We're closed for the weekend right now, but you bring that ticket down here Monday morning, and we'll give you your 27 gazillion dollars. I'll be there. Guys, what shall we do to celebrate? <laughs> More pizza? Great! Let's go to Vito's and buy pizza. No, I have a better idea. I did not get this straight, Mr. Arbuckle. Tell me again, how many pizzas you wish to buy? For the tenth time, Vito, I'm not here to buy pizzas. I want to buy the pizzeria, the whole place. <sighs> how I've dreamed of this moment. I hit the lottery. I won 27 gazillion dollars. Mr. Arbuckle, was that the name? Hi, I'm a reporter with Channel 4. Did I hear you right? You're the big lottery winner? Hey, <laughs> that's me. Vito, name your price, then double it. First make pizzas, then talk money. That's right, Sid, the big lottery winner. Get a camera crew down here and we'll do a headline story. Tomorrow, Odie, I'm going on the biggest shopping spree you ever saw. After all, I've got 27 gazillion dollars to spend. Hmm. By the time I'm done here, you may be down to 26. The city was all abuzz today as lottery winner John Arbuckle began spending some of the 27 gazillion dollars he won in this weekend's super mega jackpot lucky seven ultra snazzy lottery. This morning, he purchased seven cars, one for each day of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, Saturday, I like to take half the day off. He also picked out the new home he will purchase. It has 600 rooms. When one gets dirty, I'll just move to another. In his new mansion, I asked him what would be his greatest extravagance. That would be Garfield. <laughs> oh, this rich stuff is so good. <laughs> Come on, Garfield. We're going back to the old house for one last time. Oh, I can't move. I can't walk. I couldn't eat another bite if my life depended on it. Uh, how soon is dinner? Let's go. My new tailor, Armando, is going to meet me there. I'm not going to miss this house. Me neither. How about you, Odie? <laughs> huh? Mr. Arbuckle, I am Armando. I'm a tailor. I am known as Armando the Tailor. Oh, come in, Armando the Tailor. 
Bodie, you can't be serious. You're gonna miss this house? Why? We're gonna live in a mansion with hot and cold running servants. We're gonna have a swimming pool. And like all rich people, we're never gonna go in it. Okay, so this house is the only home you've ever known. So, you think I'm gonna miss it? Miss my favorite corner to sleep in? Miss my favorite window screen to hang on? No! Think of the mill service in the new house. You like it, Mr. Harbuckle? Love it. I want 50 more outfits, Armando the tailor. Huh? Uh, excuse me. Mr. Harbuckle! Oh, what would you like me to do with your old clothes? Oh, throw them away. There's a trash can out front by the curb. Hello? Oh, Mr. Barker. Sorry to bother you at home on the weekend, Arbuckle, but I wanted to make sure you were working on those drawings I need. You what? I said I quit, Mr. Barker. Ugh. I don't have to work for you anymore. I'm rich. Monday morning, I turn in my winning lottery ticket here. My lottery ticket here. <gasps> my lottery ticket. It's in that shirt I just told Armando the tailor to throw away. <gasps> Arbuckle, Arbuckle, I can't stand employees who quit. You're fired. Stop! This is a catastrophe. John doesn't have catastrophes anymore. He's rich. I made it just in time. Stop! Stop that garbage truck. I need my old clothes back. No, you don't, Mr. Arbuckle. They were so out of style. My lottery ticket. It was in with these clothes. <sighs> oh, no. We're the last stop before they take the trash out to the pier and dump it. <sighs> oh, great. Now some fish is going to get our money. You can tell this is an emergency because I didn't stop for ice cream. garbage in the ocean already? Oh, 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 no. We don't do that anymore. You don't? Nah. It's bad for the environment. Uh, <laughs> now we just burn it. Oh. oh, that's the trash we just picked up. Makes a lot of nice smoke, don't it? Well, it was nice being rich while it lasted. <sighs> All the pasta I could eat, finally. But you know, I don't have it so bad. I've got you and Odie, I've got this house. You may find it hard to believe, Garfield, but I would have missed this house. You're right, I find it hard to believe. And I still have my job with Mr. Barker. <laughs> no, I don't have my job with Mr. Barker. Oh, what am I gonna do? I... <laughs> Odie, I don't have time for whatever it is. I quit my job. I... My pants. I took it off when we got home and... Does this mean we're rich again? Uh, just let me have the winning ticket, Mr. Arbuckle. I'd like the 27 gazillion in large bills, please. For a check made out to Vito's Pizzeria. The winning numbers were seven, nine, four, five, <laughs> zero, six, three, and hmm, wait a minute. What's wrong? Is something wrong? This last number on your ticket isn't a three. It's an eight. 
that was covered by a stain. It smells like it was pizza sauce. I'm sorry, Mr. Arbuckle. This is huh? not a winning ticket. Huh? Huh? Excuse me. Huh? I think I have the winning lottery ticket. Yes, you do, ma'am. You win the 27 gazillion dollars. Oh, that's nice. I can get Mr. Barker to give me my job back. All it will take is a sincere apology. And begging. Boy, oh, don't forget to begging. Well, guys, it looks like we lost 27 gazillion dollars. You know, a lot of people, if this happened to them, would go absolutely nuts and start crying and whining. And you know what else? Huh? Huh? I'm like a lot of people. I'm on my way to Gamma Quadrant 9, Marie. <laughs> My generator bank is low. I need to find a place I can stop off for a day or two and recharge. Earth? What's to do on Earth? Most boring planet in the galaxy. Makes Trisector Blue seem like a bleen festival, if you know what I mean. Well, I guess it'll do. I mean, it's on the way. John will be home any minute now, and he'll make dinner. I wish he'd hurry. I haven't eaten in... <gasps> two hours, 15 minutes, and three seconds. Four seconds. Five seconds. Here's John. He went to apply for cartooning work. You'll be able to tell by the look on his face if he got hired or not. Oh. Ooh, that looks like a knot to me. I'll have dinner on the table soon, guys. Oh, soon is not soon enough. Can you make soon sooner? No. I don't know why we're rushing him. Have you noticed how bad John's cooking has been lately? Especially when he's out of work and dejected. Sometimes it's hard to tell what it is he's serving. What do you think it is, boy? Meat, fish, or pasta? Hmm. I'm thinking chicken chow mein or maybe chocolate pudding. Or both mixed together. I think I need an emergency banana. There must be somebody out there who wants to hire a cartoonist. John Arbuckle. Arbuckle, Eddie Gourmand here. You know me. <laughs> the world's greatest food critic and all-around cool person. Now, listen, I was told you are a cartoonist. Y yes, I was. I, I mean, I am. Well, I need one I can pay a fabulous salary to to do drawings in my cookbook. Fabulous salary? But I have to ask you, Arbuckle, are you a good cook? You want to know if I'm a good cook? <laughs> I have some thoughts on the matter. Well, yes, I'm an excellent cook. Those are not my thoughts. Tell you what, I'll come to dinner tonight at your house. If I like what you serve, the job and the fabulous salary are yours. You have my address? Mm-hmm. Good. See you tonight at 8. Garfield, I'm going to get a job with a fabulous salary. I knew you could do it. All I have to do is cook a great dinner. I knew you couldn't do it. Now, what do I need? Oh, ingredients! I have to go to the market and buy ingredients! Uh, see you soon! <laughs> Even his bananas aren't that good. <laughs> Ugh, I forgot. They have gravity on this planet. Let's see what's around here. House! Trees? I better hide my spacecraft. You know how bad this is? 
Even I won't eat it. You're darn right that's pretty bad. That smell. That smells just like the corrugated uranium my mother used to make. Oh, delicious. You like that, fella? Highly obese cat. Best food I've had in the galaxy. Well, if you want more, the dog's not going to eat his either. <laughs> <laughs> Let me at it. You know, Odie, I've been hungry, but I don't think I've ever been that hungry. Let's see if John left any more of that stuff on the stove. The more of it our friend here eats, the less we'll have to finish. Murray, I could get to like this Earth place if only it didn't have all this gravity. Yeah, gravity. Earth is lousy with it. We interrupt this Garfield cartoon to bring you this educational moment. Tell them not to worry, it'll be quick. Don't worry, it'll be quick. Thank you. This is for those of you who don't know what gravity is. Gravity is a natural phenomenon by which objects with mass attract one another. I'll repeat that because I don't understand it either. It has something to do with how big objects attract littler objects. The Earth is a big object, so smaller objects are attracted to it. History says that gravity was first figured out by a man named Isaac Newton back in the 17th century. They say it happened when an apple fell on his head. Well, that's not exactly how it happened. I say, old chap, how about a spot of dinner for your pussycat? Hmm, it would seem I have to take matters into my own paws. Apples. Well, they're not exactly lasagna, but they'll do. <coughs> ah, there we go. Stop. Stop. What happened? I was asleep and you fell down, my fine pussycat. <laughs> hmm. I wonder why you did not fall up. Could it be the force uh. of gravity? And so, in conclusion, gravity is why things fall down and go boom. And so Isaac Newton formulated his theory of how gravity worked. And why we do not all float away from this planet. He became world famous, and of course his cat didn't get a bit of credit. So that's what gravity is, and why it's a good thing to have. This concludes the educational portion of our program. Don't worry, we won't have another one until next season, or maybe the one after that. Our story resumes. I don't like all this gravity. All this walking on the floor. Without gravity, I feel so free. Time to use the old portable gravity elimination device. <laughs> oh, great! This is just like home. John had a cake in the oven? His last one was like lead. I hope this one is light. Hey, not bad. Huh? Oh. Oh. Odie, stop kidding around. You're a dog, Odie. Around like that. Hody, is this one of those hokey dream sequences where we do on the show every once in a while? I don't either. Whoa. Hey, Odie, look. I'm not falling. Give it a try. Oh, I lost track of the time and spent too long at the market. I won't get home in time to cook Mr. Gorman the great meal that will give me that fabulous salary. Maybe Garfield and Odie will entertain him until I get there. Odie, would you float over there and see who that is? Open up, Arbuckle, it's me! It's eight, and I don't like being kept waiting at mealtime. 
Oh, 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 oh no! Mr. Groman is here already! I'll run around and go in the back door. Huh? Oh, oh, Garfield! Hey, John. I found something that's almost as much fun as sleeping or eating. My tomatoes! My carrots! My rutabagas! I think John's too heavy to float like this. Uh, I wonder if my generator bank is recharged yet. Arbuckle, what is going on? Arbuckle, is my dinner ready? This place is getting crowded. What a beautiful job of setting the table. Huh? Huh? What a fine way of tossing a salad. What a bad way of landing on your head. Oh, Ooh. and look huh? at this stir fry. I can already see how perfectly yummy it will be after you heat it up. Heat it up? Oh, yes, heat it up. <laughs> I'm about to heat it up, Mr. Groman. Good. And I'll start on your splendid salad while you do. All charged up and ready to go. I keep telling you, Odie, I have no idea what happened. But I think I know who does. Hey, you. Yoo-hoo. I thought it might be you. What happened in the house? That was your doing. Guilty. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, the food was great. If I come back someday, can I have that again? Can you make us float again? It's a deal. Bye. Bye. Whoa, that was amazing. I never would have believed it. No, not floating. Somebody liking John's cooking. Our bottle. Oh. This is delicious. The stir fry is ready, Mr. Gourmand. Oh, and it smells divine. You are so hired. I won't just pay you a fabulous salary. <laughs> I'll pay you a super fabulous salary. Yeah, two somebody's like John's cooking. Well, it just goes to show, Odie. Sometimes it all works out. Hurry back, my friend.